How y'all doing? It's Carl here. And today we're going to be talking about a free software that's available to you right now called Audacity. We're going to be doing a quick tutorial to briefly show you guys how to use Audacity. Audacity can be downloaded for Windows, Mac, and for Linux. Programs like Audacity are called open source software because their source code is available for anyone to study or use. There are several things you can use Audacity to do. You can record live audio. You can record computer playback in Windows Vista or later machine. You can record on your Mac. You can cut, copy, splice, or mix sounds together. You can use numerous effects, including change the speed, pitch, or tempo of the recording. You can write your own plugin effects and so much more. First thing we're gonna get started with is downloading Audacity onto our computer. Now what this is gonna look like, you're gonna to go to audacitycitiesteam.org. Once you get to the website, you'll see here you have your home about download, help, contact, ways you can get involved and just their copyright information. Like I said, this is a free open source cross platform audio software. And as you scroll down, you can see the download Audacity. And you, like I said, you have uh, Microsoft, Apple's and Linux. So to simply download that, you click on download here. Once you click on download, since I'm using the Mac, I'm going to look for the Mac iOS Audacity. So click on this link right here. Once you click on that link, it's going to give you some of the download sources. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the Mac. So you download that. So once this downloads, you can go ahead and click this. This screen will come up and then you just take this and you just drop it into your applications. I have already done that. Once you do that, you can go ahead and eject that DMG. And then let's go ahead and open up Audacity. Once Audacity opens, it's going to give you a welcome page. Welcome to Audacity. What's new in Audacity 3.1.3 is the latest version that's currently out right now as of today. Once you read through this, you can go ahead and say, don't show me again if you don't, if you would like to not see that prompt pop up again. So quickly, let's just go through some of the features here on the file menu on the Mac. It'll be a little bit different on the Microsoft or PC. You just have file, edit, select, view, transport, tracks, generate effects, analyze, and tools. Now on this top page right here, what you have is you have your pause button, play button, stop button, basically a skip to the start and then skip to the back your record button and then you have your loop your loop icon right here you have a, a, a bunch of different interfaces and we'll get into those later but you have your selection tool this right here is your envelope tool then you have your draw tool your zoom tool and your multi tool so to go ahead and get started the first thing we're going to do is it says click to start monitor so what this does, it, it gives you the opportunity to see your voice levels as you speak. Now, if you haven't set this up yet, what you want to do is you want to come down here to these tabs. You want to click on core audio. Click on the device that you want to use as far as your input. Then you're going to click on mono or stereo, whatever you have. And then you want to click on the output as well. So my output is to my Mac mini speakers and it's let and it's giving me my levels. Now, a few different things you can do here. You can take this, drop it down here. Then you can come right here and change it to show your levels uh, and such like that. Uh, you can quickly put this back by just coming up to this right here, going up to view toolbars and then just reset your toolbars. Let's go ahead and get right into where you want to benefit. So uh, another thing you can do, you, you can change your record volume as well as change your playback volume. So to simply record, what we're going to do is we're going to hit record. Once you hit record, you get a dialog box that pops up and it starts to record the audio that you're putting into the mic right now. You can stop that and then you can play it back and listen to it. All right. Now, a few things you can do once you have an audio track, 
you can use your selection tool you can select audio you can select a part of the audio track and you can click delete to take out some of that audio if you want to bring that back you just simply hit Control Z or Command Z if you're using the Mac like myself. Other things you can do is you can take this audio, come up to this menu right here, and then you want to go to effects. Now, if you want to change the effect of this audio, you can hit phaser right here. We're just using this as an example. Just hit apply. Then we're going to close that selection tool to start at the beginning. And remember, you can hit space bar to play. Now, if you heard that, you heard that the part of the audio that I selected, it changed. Now, if I wanted to change that back, all you have to do is just do Control Z. Control Z will change that back if you didn't like how that sounded. Another thing you can do, if you ended up recording a lot of video, and you want to be able to break down where you have some of those gaps, you can come here. And break down some of those gaps. Let's show you another trick also. If I let's just dial this back, let's get rid of this audio track. I'm just gonna hit delete. So, in this example, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how you can eliminate that dead space in your audio where you're trying to just have a clean go through. Let's just say Let's say for an example, you're doing an audio book or something like that, and you're just trying to read carefully to make sure you hit all the spaces and you want to have appropriate spacing between each word. So let's just do an example of that. Today, as I was walking down the street, there was a man standing there watching me. Once I passed him, I looked back to see if he was still be staring all right so now if we play this back real quick we'll notice real quick all right to see if he'll still be staring anyway so what you want to do to Get rid of those gaps or those unwanted gaps where your story can flow is you can make sure you have your selection tool selected. You want to grab it. You want to grab the space that you want to decrease. You want to hit delete. Do the same thing in another space where you feel like you wanted to close those gaps and then do the same thing here. Another another way you can do this. Another reason to use this is for those um those moments when you just take a deep breath like into the mic and you just want to get rid of all those, you know, inhales. So let's just play it back to see how it sounds now. Today, as I was walking down the street, there was a man standing there watching me. Once I passed him, I looked back to see if he was still be staring. All right. So you see there, we eliminated those gaps and the story basically sounded like it flowed a whole lot better than what it did the first time when there was a lot of pauses. This is a great software to use if you want to do things like audiobooks, podcasts, or any other recording, like if you want to do, do uh, commercials or something like that for the radio. And that's small scale compared to what you can really do using Audacity. All right, once you have the audio track that you desire, what you're going to do to save it is you want to go to export, export as MP3, or you can export it as a wave. You kind of click whichever one you want. Dialog box pop up and you just call it whatever you want. We'll call it test for, for these purposes. You want to select uh, whatever bit you want. We're just going to do 32 for the sake of this video. And we're going to do wave. So Microsoft, because most platforms are Microsoft oriented. And then just hit save. Then once you hit save, you'll get an edit metadata tags. And what you could do here is go ahead and, you know, edit the artist name, track title, depending on what you're doing, the year, the genre, and leave any of those comments. For the sake of this video, we're just going to hit OK. 
make sure that you probably you want to keep this open so try not to hit don't show this on export and audio unless you just necessarily don't want to do that so we're going to hit okay and then it exports it all right once you have saved it now if you want to go ahead and test it you just open that file where you saved it down at And there it is. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for how you download, install, and use Audacity getting started quick. If you guys love this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and you click that bell so you can be notified anytime I drop any other videos. If you guys would like me to elaborate some more things that you can do using Audacity, please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll adhere to your request when I get time. My name is Carl Huff and we're going to learn on the go as we grow. We'll see y'all in the next one.